Welcome to my presentation of this semester's architectural final review. To begin the process of this project, I started sketching contour hands with focus on tension through a fist or a clenched shape of the hand. As I continued to sketch, I went on to exploring different shapes and points of views of the hand to broaden the understanding of its abilities and form. These considerations led me to choose this sketch that was next translated into 3D because I felt this depiction showed tension in a unique way. The purpose of this choice was initially because of the tension it represents, but when translating the 2D shape into a 3D form, I found it became more about detail and tension was a feature of this detail. The wire hand was constructed through a process of layering by making each layer of the entire hand in parts instead of just focusing on a single finger at a time. Each layer serves an individual purpose. The top layer brings attention to the features of the fingers and details of bends. The center layer provides an outline of the edges of the fingers to give them form. And the bottom layer is to close this form and through fingertips reflect the difference between nails and tips of the fingers. Drawing under light influence was a task that boggled my mind as I tried to follow the path of one wire across the path of multiple others. Once I got the hang of that, I was able to create order out of the chaos of lines that are interwoven. That allowed me to be able to break apart the hand into components that I wanted to focus on, such as form of the fingertips and details of knuckles. Putting together concepts for the corners was considered with perspectives of the views that would be in the cladding. With a goal for organization and order, I kept the conditions fairly conserved, needing them only for supporting framing and cladding features. The assembly clarifies the order that was used to construct the boundary box, starting with a strong base, moving on to the corners, then to the cover, and finally other features for suspending and viewing the hand. When cladding the bounding box, I carefully considered the perspectives of my wire hand through the viewports on the cladding. Not much went into attaching the cladding to the frame, as at this point I had planned to grip the wire around the corners and at the edges of the cladding to join the two. The views used for sectioning the boundary box was to provide details to cladding features and features of supports intended to suspend the hand in air. The placement of the sitting within the viewing area is in perspective to the entry so that the index finger points at the opening of the viewing area. The positioning of the box is intended to create order for perspectives of the viewing area, limiting distance, especially to the rear side, so that the attention of that view is not lost. The perspectives in the front view of the box is used to bring attention to the components of the fingertips of the index finger and thumb to the left and the bent fingertips to the right. The left view provides attention in closer and individual order. And then through the lower view, as you move somewhat to the rear, the fingertips of the bent fingers reappear to bring attention to them once again. From the rear, an interesting view can be discovered by picturing the fingertips through the loop of the palm, capturing these three distinguishable components. Then, as the view moves to the right of the box, a larger view is provided to capture the perspective I found most defining of the hand. The knuckles are also given focus as well as the index fingertip once again to support the order given through the cladding views.